Hawaii's famous haiku staircase, also called the Stairway to Heaven hike, will soon be demolished, and it's all because of tourists. The stairs were built during World War II by the U.S. Navy. Look at that beautiful. But the hike was officially closed in 1987 after safety concerns. But that did not stop the tourists. City Council members claim the rampant trespassing made the stairs an expensive and very dangerous liability. There have been numerous rescues, including by helicopter, after people accessed the stairs illegally and then got stuck. According to the Honolulu government, the iconic site will be torn down by the end of this month. So joining me now is travel industry expert and CEO of Wanderlust Campus, Cindy Williams. Cindy, thank you so much for your time. Before we get into what caused this, do you think the Stairway to Heaven should be torn down because it is beautiful? It's so beautiful. And I think we're all disappointed to lose that historical landmark. My own grandfather served in the Navy and was stationed in Oahu uh, back in the 40s. So we're losing a little piece of history. So that's really sad. But I do believe because of all the safety concerns, the deterioration, and even the uh, disruption to the local residents, I don't think Oahu had another choice. You know, and Cindy, why do you think so many people seem to have this need to access things that are supposed to be off limits, then potentially destroy those things versus just enjoy these famous, beautiful landmarks. Yeah, I think it's, you know, the culture that we live in today, everyone has to feed the gram. They're they're all <laughs> after that great picture and that great thrill seeking and, and, and that makes it tough. And I think we have to remember that we are guests when we travel. There's some etiquette that should be involved that we're really, you know, we're, honoring the places that we're visiting and in this case it just got a little bit out of control do you think people even realize their actions you know when done by so many can then be harmful i think that they do in the case of the stairway to heaven as they call it they had security guards you know they had they had measures put in place they had signs posted so people were very aware that they were breaking the local laws that it wasn't allowed and they were just taking those risks to try to get those spectacular images you know you are a travel industry expert you just mentioned etiquette what are some of the the ways people can be respectful but still you know appreciate and enjoy these landmarks I think it's really important to research the places that you're going, find out what the local laws and customs are, and make sure you abide by those. And there's, you can still have those thrill-seeking events, just work with a certified travel professional that specializes in adventure. There's lots of great opportunities out there that are safe and also will work in harmony with the land and the places that you're visiting. You know, and as we uh, listen to you and look at that video, I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Social media does play such a big role in all of this. Cindy, do you think that's going to get better or worse? I, I think it's gonna continue to get worse because everybody is after something that hasn't been seen or something that's hard to access or hard to share. And um, so I don't think it's going to get better. I think that unless we adopt, you know, kind of a, 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 a thought and, a, and an etiquette around when we travel to places, it's gonna be tough because people really, they want those clicks, they want those likes, and it's just kind of the world that we live in. Yes, it is. Travel industry expert Cindy Williams, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.